motivated right about now. Yeah, let's ride for Five, bro, five. Strap past more than camera. Easy. You know what I'm It's the part of the movie where the gangster lives. <laughs>
Sometimes I'm shooting and I'm never get like I've shot for like mad people like anybody you think of really Wayne yeah. like everybody and it's just like I don't I, I feel feel like one time I was shooting come on and I'm like damn this nigga just like Bob it's like crazy <laughs> like <laughs> like how is it like working with him like just that experience that experience well hmm. that's a good question I mean on one hand you have like the the whole backstory the legacy and all that. And you want to be able, you want to be like 
this is who I work for. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like I hang out with this on a regular basis, and I mean, do chill and blah, blah, blah. At the same time, it's like you hang around them for all you really like. It's a human being. The other day. That's what's up. Cool um, human being, man. Real cool work, man. Fantastic is the name, aka Groove Galor. Um, I'm the drummer, programmer, producer, Kimani too. So, pretty much I did that, you know? Yeah, I got you. Um, okay, uh, first to start off, like, how long have you uh, been working with Kimani? Uh, and what's it, what's it like? Ah, uh, you know, interestingly, my first encounter with Kimani was back in 2002. At that time, we were touring together, but I wasn't playing for him. I was playing for Maxi Priest, and he was on the tour also. And uh, I was I was playing for Maxi and Andrew Tash. So that's the first time I met Kimani. And you know, <clears throat> you know, there's a first impression. I mean, over the years, I've been on several tours with Ziggy and Steve, not playing for them, but playing for like the i3s, I used to play for that, their mother, the i3s, Rita, Marcia and Judith, and uh, we would do a lot of tours together on the same bill. So I know Ziggy and Steve them for years. Um, I didn't know Kimani, I heard about him prior to the tour in 2002. So you know, tour start and went out front because I knew Derek who was playing the bass, so I said I really want to listen to this youth here, you know. I know Electric Avenue. He had Electric Avenue with um, Praz at the time. So went out front and a couple nights we were out there and watched the show. And I was just in shock, honestly. I, I'm not really a person who easily impressed. So I said, because obviously I'm telling you the type of people I want to work with. Yeah. So uh, it's not a just come thing. But, when I saw him and heard and saw him doing the, the combination of the hip hop vibe, the reggae, the, the hardcore one drop, the lovers rock, 
and then me hear my rap, and me hear my DJ. Trust me, the same night, that same tour, I left that tour telling everybody that I spoke to after that, that I just saw the wickedest man in mission. But just that I tell a guy that said, that's what I felt when I see the youth, because I said, this youth here, a rap, him sound convincing, which is hardly the case with a lot of yard youth where I try rap. Yeah. He must sing wicked, and he have a charisma the way. There's just something have that I never see it in any one before that, prior to that. Somebody else would say, yo, this youth is bad. And um, like I said, I filmed and worked with a lot of different like artists who's, who's like well known. And I was like filming, I'm shooting, and I'm like, I, I'll stop and I'm like looking at a picture and I'm like, yo, this, this is like Bob Marley, right? Like it's it like I, it, it did a pit. So like for one second it'll come past, like this is crazy, like that experience, like how is like the history and like all that like coming to play? Like how do you feel about that? Like what's that experience? Like? I just say about Bob Marley, I grew up loving the man. Bob, you understand? One of my favorite artists is my burning spear. I'm a two most famous artists throughout my life. I'm never get for work with Bob. Throughout my life, working up as a coming up as a youth, I wanted to work with one of them man. But grow up, I end up and have my dream working for Burning Spear. But me never get for work for Bob. That is why I work hard. It's just a high experience and a high emotion for me for working to work. We have the spirit, the vibe, the energy. Like his father, I'm elated. This is my second time coming to Brazil with Kimani. And Kimani here in Brazil has a very high, you know, quality of people that love his concerts, as you can saw at the concerts that we did. You know, the energy here in Brazil at these young people is very, very high. And I like the spirit that they give to him and the spirit he gives back to the people, you know. It's very high, very energetic and love all the way. I want to say much respect to all the To all the the I'm a 